This is a 2013 Nissan LEAF battery module. It is one of 48 found in the Nissan LEAF battery pack. When it comes to electric cars, the batteries can be talked about or measured in three different physical formats. The largest, the thing you cannot pick up because it is too large and too heavy, is called the battery pack. Inside of the battery pack, you will find battery modules and inside of these battery modules, you will actually find the battery cells. Just want to get that out of the way. Now, these days, some packs aren't even broken down into modules. I think the entire packs just go from pack size to actual individual cells. But that's neither here or there. Today, we're going to explain the four cells inside of this battery module using my high school yearbooks. Finally found some use for these. And some aluminum foil. So inside of this Nissan Leaf battery module, we have four cells, okay? And I'm going to use my four yearbooks to represent those cells. Huh, I wonder what Melissa Eubanks is doing right now. Anyway, we're going to start off by wrapping these yearbooks in some aluminum foil just for funsies, as I say. So let me wrap these up and I'll be right back. Okay, and there we have it. One, two, three, and four. Perfect lithium ion replicas. So now what? So just a reminder why I'm doing this, okay? I'm doing this because this is a battery and it should have two terminals, a positive and a negative, but this thing has a positive, a something, and a negative. So it has three nostrils on it. Why? Well, let's find out. All right, so we have these four cells that go inside this module, all right? Now, these cells themselves have two terminals each, a positive and a negative. So here I have some red electrical tape and what's left of my black electrical tape. I'm going to use these to represent the terminals on each one of the cells. Okay, in the interest of time, I've cut myself some slivers here, red tape to represent the positive terminals and some black tape to represent the black terminals. All right, so this is how we can represent the terminals on each one of these packs. Okay, each one has a positive and each one has a negative. Okay. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, so now let's stack them. And I'm just staggering them so it's easier for you guys to see. They're not really staggered. They're, they're directly one on top of each other, okay? So this is kind of how we start building this module, but that's not how it's in there, okay? So what the Nissan LEAF engineers do is they start out by putting positive, negative, another one, positive, negative, but these they flip upside down, okay? So it's actually negative, positive, and if we were to flip these over, negative, positive, all right? So this is now a little bit closer to what we see in there, okay? Now, then what they will do is to come up with this one here, this positive terminal, they will just connect these bottom two together, all right? So these bottom two, would be connected together and they would go to a red terminal right here, all right? Now what is interesting is that 
then this negative is these two negatives run all the way across to up approximately right there, and that gives us that negative terminal right here. All right, great. I just explained exactly what this video isn't about. This video is about this middle guy. Okay, well, here's how they get this middle connection. So let's take a step back. Okay. If we take a step back now, what we will see is that these aren't all spaced the same. So I just willy nilly them on here, but let me actually show you how they are um, connected. So rather than flipping one of these over, okay, rather than flipping this thing over and then I have this ugly side here, I'm just going to redo these, okay? So we just pretend we flipped one over. And notice how I'm putting the positive terminal all the way at the end here. So that's the key. So there's two types of these, um, these packs, okay? There's two that match this one exactly. So let's make ourselves another one just like this one. So it's basically the positive terminal is right at the edge here. And this will make sense in a second. Okay, so these two are identical, and we just want to pay attention to this guy here, which is at the very edge. Now, if we do the next ones, okay, and... Again, rather than flipping these upside down, I'm just going to redo the terminals because the key thing on this one is on these, on these two, this goes all the way to the end. But on this one, this positive terminal is, a, is like one notch over so that will make them staggered. So that if we were to stagger these one on top of each other, they're not directly above each other. They're staggered. That's what we're going for. And also the is closer in so that these are staggered like so. So the point is that there's two different types of cells. Ones that have the terminals all the way at the edge, the positive ones, and ones that kind of have one in. So let me, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so now I'm going to stack them for the final time, and I'm just going to use this cardboard box to lift it up so that you can see in the camera. But basically, the bottom two go upside down. So here's one, and here's two. And what you're seeing here is that these are staggered. They're not on top of each other. I apologize for the wrinkliness. And then... This one goes right side up, and that stagger continues, and then the fourth one on top. So this stagger here gives us that middle connection. With the bus bar that joins the two positives, together and the two negatives together in series those four cells get joined and they go to this middle connector right here i hope that sort of made sense and then these two are the positive connection here, so they're connected with the bus bar. And then these two are this negative connection, so they are connected to a bus bar that would go here.
anyway, I wish this turned out better than it has, but it is what it is. Thanks for watching.